we've been learning about Pablo Picasso, the artist that invented cubism. Today we're going to be drawing a rooster in the style of cubism. So you will need your black piece of paper, needs to be going the up and down way, and to start you need a piece of white chalk. We are going to start with the eye. In cubism, you're in the, in the style of cubism, sometimes you look at things in at one angle and then from a different angle. So for the eye, we're going to have one of the eyes looking sideways and one looking straight on. So we're going to do the sideways eye first. So starting at your paper, go down a little bit and then over. We're going to start with a dot and then around the dot you're going to do a tear shape. So it's pointy on the right side. So that's the eye looking sideways. Now for the beak, this rooster is crowing, I guess. cock a doodle doo So he has a beak that's open. It's kind of like a big backwards letter C, kind of. And then there's another line that goes around it. And then, because he's screaming, he has a tongue sticking out, like that. So the next part, um, at the top of the beak, we're going to draw a line that goes up at an angle and then straight up. And then under the beak, goes down, curves down. We'll just go that far for now. The next step we're going to do is draw the eye that's looking straight at us. So over on this side, we'll draw another dot with a circle around it. That's the other eye. And then about halfway between the two eyes, make a little dot. And that is where we're going to start drawing the comb that is on the top of the rooster's head. So from that little dot, we'll go up, across, connect that to that line, keep going, curve up. Same thing on this side. This rooster is going to have a big comb on top. And then we'll just make a bumpy line along the top of that. It's looking kind of crazy. So on this side of his head, it's going to curve out and then go straight down. I don't know about that far. And now we need to do his body. So it kind of curves out. We need to leave room for great big tail feathers. So we'll just stop there. And then this is his chest kind of bumps out, curves down, and now we're going to make his legs at the bottom. So there's leg number one. He has four claws. One, two, three, four, and then up the back of his leg a little ways, there's, I think you call it a talon that sticks out the back, and it goes up, kind of curves around, now the other leg, one, two, three, four, and then the talon, and then we're going to curve around. He's a pretty big round body. He's a well-fed rooster. Now roosters have really big tail feathers. I kind of wish I would have left a little more room for his tail feathers, but I think I can fit him in. So we've got big feathers and then some come down too. So there's his tail feathers. And then I would like to have a wing right here too. 
So there is the basic drawing of our rooster. When you're done with the drawing, please flip it over, write your name on the, the back and your class code. So name and class code on the back. So the next part is adding color. We're going to use colored chalk for this. You will need to be wearing your art shirt. This, this gets kind of messy. We'll cover the tables um, so we can try to keep the tables fairly clean. All right, so Picasso's cubism paintings are pretty colorful, so feel free to add a lot of fun colors. I forgot, I wanted to add another line right there. There we go. Um, you can do some patterns, um, stripes. Yours does not have to look just like mine. You can design yours in a different way. This is where you get to make your own decisions and make it the way you want. Alright, so, and the colors don't have to be realistic either. Uh, a comb on a turkey is generally red, but it doesn't, you don't have to make yours red if you don't want, but I'm gonna. Okay, so I'm gonna color that in. And the fun thing about chalk is uh, blending and mixing colors. So I'm starting out with red, but I'm going to add, blend in another color too. I think I'll use orange. These just are not blending very well. These are stiff chalks. Let me try the yellow, see if that'll work better. I think your chalks are going to be softer and blend a little better. You could do a little blending with your finger. That works too. Yeah, these chalks are just not blending very well, but I can still make it work. Maybe they just need to be used a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go a little crazy here. And this chicken is going to be blue. And here's a light blue. I'm going to see if I can get that to blend a little bit. Mixing colors looks really nice. This is a fun way to do a little color mixing. Maybe I'd even want to add a little bit of white in there too and make the middle lighter. All right, um, I think I'll go with the orange for the beak. Again, you don't have to use realistic colors if you don't want to. Totally up to you. Cubism is fun because you kind of get to break the rules and just do it your own way. So just have fun with it. Make it really colorful. Try to do a little bit of blending. Maybe I'll do, uh, yeah, I guess I'll do that. So we're going to go ahead and add color 
to the whole thing. And then when you get done with the coloring, chalk kind of smears. So you have to be careful. Try not to rub it um, and smear it. But at the end, we're going to take, after this is all colored in, we'll take a black oil pastel. This is not chalk. This is an oil pastel. And you can go back and add some details if you want. Maybe you want to make those lines show up better. So we're going to go back and use the black oil pastel just to add some details after the coloring part. So we can kind of clean it up a little bit if some of the edges got a little messy. You can do that. You could outline the whole thing if you want. So yeah, just have fun with it.